how is everyone doing? So this is part 10 on how to create your own Android launcher. And last time we got it so that you can add an app onto the home screen by long pressing on it. And then we also got it so whenever you click on it, it will launch the app. But what we had to do last time is actually disable the touch listener in order to get dragging working when it's on the home screen and we did this because on touch listener and on click listener weren't working together correctly but this is actually a very simple solution that actually someone right here pointed this out um, on the part 9-2 video in order to make on click and on touch work together you just return false instead of true so let's go into our app touch listener where we had return true right here but we need to return false now then we can also re-enable the touch listener that we disabled and now whenever I run it so now we can add an app onto the home screen you can drag it and you can click it to launch it so that's pretty simple but there there's some now I want to try to get away from some of the design aspect I want to try to get away from um, saving data because this is something that the developers should do on their own what I'm here to do is um, provide the complex parts and the parts that are hard to get started when you're making your launcher um, and the main parts so I want to try to get a little bit away from the design aspect and I want to show you this tutorial that I found I'll leave the link in the description this is it so this is a tutorial for um, adding a widget, uh, adding widgets for your launcher. So I'm going to quickly go through this. Um, basically, we need an app widget manager, app host. So let's create an app widget manager and a host. So we can just copy and paste those two lines um, inside of the activity. We will initialize them under on on create. So I can just paste it right there, and then we can create these. So app widget manager we can create it up here. We call it m app widget manager, and then click control shift o to import things and then we need an app widget host right here so app widget host we call it m app widget host so now we got those two things now r.id dot app widget host id that's something that we add into our xml so i'll show you what i mean there's a res inside of values you can add a a um, file we can just call it IDs and I really need to look into how I did it in a different app because I sort of forgot okay so yeah basically we do it like this so we have a resources open and close we have an item and then item type equals ID and the name equals we equal it to app widget underscore host underscore ID so you can copy and paste that and now save all there's no errors 
and now you can see that it's actually found it as an ID so it's artificially creating uh, creating an ID for the host the next thing is selecting a widget what I want to do is we need a simple interface um, that will be quick to make for uh, this tutorial so the main view is well let me check into um, the basic launcher res layout this is activity main so the home view is actually a relative layout and it's called home view so I believe in order to let's see so I believe it would be pretty simple to get this set up um, for a basic um, selection if I see we have our home view right here that's right there alright so what we can do is add a on long press for the home view so home view dot set on let's see what's wrong okay set on long set on long click listener new on long push click listener and control shift O so now we have a long click listener for the home so for the simplicity of this tutorial I'm simply going to make it choose um, the app widget uh, picker once you long press so that's what this is um, this is the select widget method as well as an add empty data which for some reason you have to add in order to get the thing to work so what we need to do is add the select widget method as well as the add empty data do control shift o to get the array list imported and then we also have another id called request pick app widget so inside of the IDs, we can create a new ID and just simply call it that. So there we have it. So now we want to add a select widget method inside of the home view long click listener. So simply add that meth add the call into the long click listener and then configuring the widget this is after you've selected the widget the activity result that's after activity result is what's called after you um, do it do this method start activity for result that's um, standard for that method so we can override on activity for result and we can simply paste that underneath and then the final objectives is we have the request pickup widget which we have not created and configure widget and create widget so configure widget is right here so we can paste that in control shift O again now we need the create widget copy and paste that right below now it's a quite a bit of 
well, we can actually do home view for that part on inside of the create widget. That's actually finally adding the widget onto the view. So it's actually created the widget called host view. And it's going to add it. So what we are missing is request pickup widget. So let me see what that's about. I believe it's just an integer. It's just some sort of number. And um, okay. So I believe instead of um, these that we can actually do r dot id dot request pickup widget so let's just try that r dot id dot okay create create okay so these are ids that we make need to make so I'm just going to make this one an integer. We can do int request create app widget. Let's make that 900. And so I guess that's really all we need to do for that part. So then there's also the last part with updating so these are standard methods that we can add right after this widget stuff on start on stop okay we finally got everything set up that was not too hard since we're just copying and pasting and i will leave that in the um description so right now it is about to launch and it's going right now so now what I'm going to do is long press on the home screen so as you can see the choose widget pop-up has appeared there's all these different widgets you can choose from I'm just going to click analog widget. So let's see. And wow, there we go. You can see it has been added onto the home screen. And if you want it in a certain position, and like I said, I'm not going to get much into design. That's mainly up to you. Although I do say that whenever you're saving widgets, all you need is the um, app widget ID Let's see, app widget yes all you need is the app widget ID because you can create the app widget info from the app widget ID so you can save the app widget ID into your app for later use and it will create that same widget and it will save data that has been saved any settings with that widget that's widgets and if you want to add Oh, I think I was about to say that if you want to add it in a certain position, instead of adding home view dot add view host view, you can do a comma and add, do layout parameters. So like layout params lp equals new relative layout dot layout params, and you can do width and height you can also later on set the margins and stuff like that but like i said i'm not going to much into design and saving so there's widgets i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i hope it was not too long if you like this video i hope that you will check out a few of my apps there's lucid launcher and if you feel generous there's this and as well as lucid browser so I hope you'll check out my apps, and please subscribe if you would like to see some more videos like this. Thanks for watching.